All right, I'm going to bring Bridget back up because our batteries died. So uh, we're uh, we're going to have two video links for this period, which is awesome. Uh, and I'll give Bridget a lollipop too. So Bridget, come on up, kiddo. And I'm going to give you a free shirt. All right. All right. Yeah. Striking out. This is our breast cancer shirts. These are for you. Whoa. Okay. There you go. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, In This Mirror by Bridget Cavarubias. Who am I and who are you? A silence fell in the room. It's so cold in here. Will I ever escape this reflection in the mirror? This monster, this fear, a disgust. A question ran up my spine. Up and down to each corner of each eye. I see you for who you are, but you can't see me for who I am. You and I, we are the same person, but now in this mirror, can you see me? Lay silent, stay silent, as if you don't know what you truly are. Your voice, my voice, our voice, trails off into the depths of this night. If someone was right next to you, would they see what you see? They don't. It's as if they touched your endless world of hurt and denial and it all went away. Their little piece of heaven of hope and of love. It devoured every last chance of your regret. They pull when you fall, they grasp when you let go, see through their eyes. So who are you now? In this mirror, can you see what you truly are? Right here, in this mirror, you and I, we see it now. Escaping by Sashinka Soto. The leaves outside dance with each other. As they flew by, the others followed not far behind. Some paid a visit to the window and stayed a bit before flying off again. It was silent outside. So peaceful outside. <coughs> inside the house was a disturbing sight. And there were crashing noises. A young boy tied to a bed, struggling against the rope that bound him. He stared for the, at the ceiling for a while. His muffled cries did him no good, but the sharp edge of the bed frame, that was his key to freedom. His arms quickly went to work, and the rope fell apart, letting his tiny bruised wrists go, and his body was in motion. He stood up from the filthy bed and listened for any movements, but heard none. He ran through the back, dodging the many trees around him. He ran and ran until he felt a little safer. His breathing was sloppy, and sweat dripped from his forehead. Fear of being caught faded away for a short while. A shot sounded in the distance, not far from where he stopped to unwind. Not far at all. His heart raced inside of his chest. Pretty soon, he was up and about, trembling and running, running and trembling. Then, the unexpected occurs. His body slammed hard against the dirt floor ground and pain was delivered throughout his body in all kinds of amount and paces. A large man stood above him, talking loudly until his voice trailed off into nothing. He kicked the fragile body and walked off, and his footsteps died away. The young man took his breath and departed from the world around him. Adam Chisnowski, silence is something we can never escape. Escape. It fills the gaps when we hear no words. It's something that's a lot to take, especially when you're in the middle of the woods. You hear a gong sound just a couple steps away, but when you look, you don't see anything but hear footsteps slowly dying away. You lay silent, waiting for the creature. Suddenly you hear a snapping noise of a twig, and you know that you're not far from a distinctive feature. You stare at some misty eyes, but next thing you know, you're staring at the ceiling, wondering when morning will arise. The Happiest 
greatest place on earth by Thais Cepeda. Footsteps died away, voices trailed off till they were not audible. People's faces were a mixture of tired and gleeful. Crowds departed, silence crept into the night. Walking back, I remember the day. I remember the smells, the rides, the laughter. I lay silent on my bed, staring at the ceiling, smiling to myself. I fall asleep with a smile on my face as I recall my day at the happiest place on earth. Good night, by Dexter Tijek. I don't like the dark, whispered Lenny. We're gonna have to get used to it. We're on the run all night because of you, said George. While the two was walking the grassy fields, they were stopped by gnawing sounds in the tall grass. Quickly, Lenny dived into the nearby bush, and George laid onto the ground, both of them laying silent. The figure was rustling in the grass, not at all visible. George could feel his heartbeat against the cold ground. Then all of a sudden, the rustling stops. Silence quickly fell. Thump, thump, thump. George's heart racing. The rustling noises come up again, getting closer and closer. The shadowy figure leaps out of the tall grasses and stands clearly in the moonlight. Rabbit! It's a rabbit, George! It's so cute and cuddly, I just want to pet it. George gets up and helps Lenny out of the bushes. Come on, Lenny, we're not wasting no more time in the rabbit. We gotta keep going. Entitled by Emmanuel Bion. His voice trailed off, the footsteps died away, and silence surrounded everyone a gunshot heard astray. All heads turned towards the old man who kept staring at the ceiling. The men would never understand what the old man was feeling. We all have a dream, something we hope we can achieve. We keep our dreams at bay throughout our entire day. Our dreams are silenced up until our final moments of all voices till they've trailed off. You lay silent in bed, staring towards the ceiling, thinking about all the injustice in the world. In that exact moment, our thoughts finally decide to come out at night. Um, they haunt us, even in our dreams. You dream about all the answers you wish for in all your questions. What's wrong with society? Will we ever be something more? Will we ever realize we, our impact on others? You dream of social justice for all people like men, women, children, transgenders, gays, and bisexuals. What makes us different is something we should embrace and not something to be shunned before. Before we say something, we must think about how we impact others. We must think about our judgment. We must ask and not assume. You dream that all is right in the world and everyone feels great about themselves. You later wake up, smell the roses, and then realize your dream is not obtainable. Untitled by the Chorus of Inspo. Uh, when nighttime starts to fall, that's when all the monsters call. The moon is glaring, the sun is no longer flaring. Snapping noises everywhere, could it be a bear? Uh, there was a gnawing sound and crawling on the ground. This is the remark when everything starts to embark. When the night turns dark, then there was a loud bark. I felt his presence, I see him in the distance. I sense his essence, he came out of the night. Will this end in a fight? Bring on the light, roll back the night. He is a day walker and a night stalker. He is coming towards me. This may be the last thing I see. Um, this is Untitled by Mace. Um, he laid silent, eyes blinking fast, and the hole in his heart is still giant. With every second, his skin was getting colder, breathing getting harder, and darkness taking over. A sudden shot sounded in the distance, snapping him out of his thoughts. Panic rushed through his blood, but the footsteps died away. His mind was rushing as the thoughts flood back in. closed his eyes, and a single tear fell. I'd like to uh, give a 
shout out to Monster uh, Energy Drinks for uh, inspiring me. This is uh, Untitled by Giovanni Navarro. Singing class with no concentration, but still thinking about everything. Why can't I focus on one thing? Why are they staring? Did I get called on? What are my options? Uh, 42. Son, this is history. Oh man, I guess I screwed up again. Don't you, being, uh, don't you hate being lost in your own thoughts? A beautiful forest came out of the night, the men lay silent, their voices trailed off, their footsteps died away, staring at the sky, the silence of the moon settled in with nothing but the snapping noises of the branches below them. Um, this is Untitled by Desiree. She goes outside where the night silence takes over. She looks at the constellations and sees a story. Their story. The story of the light and darkness finding comfort in the way they filled each other's empty space. So let's give a warm round of applause to appreciate it. We'll upload this and that way kids can check this out. So thank you for tuning in.